Hello, and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham, and today we'll be going over the upgrade of the Unify controller, which manages my network at my home lab. What this does is it controls the firmware, also all the different VLANs that I've created, and all the different network segments and stuff like that, that I have for my home uh, lab, as well as for my family as well that uses the internet. Um, so we'll go over the upgrade of that process. Uh, first of all, we need to log into our controller. As you can see, I'm currently running version 5.12.66. I am notified that there is a new version. 5.12.72 is now available. Also, if I go to my devices, in my devices, we can see that next to every single one, there is an upgrade available. So I will be going over the upgrade. I'll probably do an access point as well as a switch so that you can see how much time it takes to do the uh, firmware upgrades on those as well. It's not too long. I'll try to make it as short as possible, and I'll try to keep these videos as short as possible as well. So let's first go to the controller, and from there we can see that, as we mentioned, there's a new version available. We'll go to the Ubiquity Downloads, and from there we can see that there is the 5.12.72 uh, Debian and Ubuntu Linux uh, Cloud Key version that we want. It came out on 5.14, so we are going to download that. Accept the user license agreement. From there, we can see that there is a direct URL. This is what we're going to really need because we're actually going to be logging into our Raspberry Pi. And once logged into our Raspberry Pi, we'll be actually downloading this Debian file and installing it on the system itself. So we'll copy the URL. We'll go over to our Raspberry Pi, which I've already logged into. Uh, this is also in the root so I had to do a sudo to get into root to do this I am in the home directory of root and from here we're going to run the wget command followed by the download uh, link that was copied from the previous screen okay that is completed downloading we can do a quick list and we can see that the file is there it is the unify system all deb we're going to run the file now with the package installer Yes, we did have a backup. And as we can see, it's going from 5.12.66 to 5.12.72. It is now setting up Unify. Just to give a recap, we can see that it installed the file. It uh, unpacked it. It wrote over the old version with a new version. It set up that new version, and then it restarted the uh, commands that need to start the web access and stuff like that. So we're going to go back to our Unify Network Controller now. We're going to refresh. And as you can see, we're at 5.12.72. We're going to log in. And now we get the new screen. So they've uh, come up with the security analytics. If you feel like you do not want to send them information, uh, you can say do not send. If you feel like you want to send them information, you can. Uh, this was a big security concern that came out with some of the earlier uh, versions of it that they did not ask this question. So I'm just going to say here, do not send. Will not cause any issues either way. Um, so now we are on the latest controller version, but our actual devices have firmware that need to be applied to them as well. So if we go to our devices on the left hand side, um, you can see that I have eight devices. I'm not going to uh, upgrade every single one of these, but I will go over a couple of them. I'll be doing an access control point, and then I will also be doing a switch itself. Um, so what we can do is we can go into this system here. And we can see that there is an upgrade option. So we are going to upgrade this access point to the latest and greatest. Uh, one thing I do find that I think is really neat what they do here is we can see uh, who is actually on here. We've got four devices. From those four devices, these will actually get moved since this is getting updated. It will we'll move these to another Wi-Fi access point within the house, which is pretty interesting. So we'll go here, 
upstairs and upgrade. It wants to know, are we sure we want to upgrade it? And we are going to confirm. And updating is in progress. As we can see, it says updating writing right here. Zoom in a little bit. So it's writing to this device. And as you can see, our clients, there's no clients here. So they've been moved off. They've gone to these other access points. You can do multiples at once, but you really need to know the layout of your network and know where these locations are and stuff like that. Because so obviously, since you're updating the, uh, for, for my house anyways, this is the upstairs access point. You know, I don't want to update the basement or the main uh, USG, as it's called, the gateway. Because if I update that gateway, then it would actually disconnect and, you know, could cause issues down, down the road. So I usually start furthest from uh, the gateway and then go all the way down. So I would start with the upstairs and I would do the living room or uh, our, our middle floor. Then I'd do the basement last and then I would do the gateway as my last. That's not the way you have to do it, but that's the way that I just do it. And I've had no issues, so I continue to do it that same, that same way. It's provisioning now. And now it's connected. And we can see our uptime. So that means that that device now is up to the latest and greatest. If we go over it, we notice there is no up, update or upgrade to that. And then it's been up for a minute and 59 seconds. Um, next, we will upgrade a uh, switch. Uh, this one here will actually do the same uh, upstairs switch. Uh, like I said, the Skynet, or I'm sorry, the uh, upstairs is, uh, access point is connected to the upstairs switch. So we'll do this PoE device next. Same thing. Confirm. Now it's updating that switch. I also have one of the new uh, Flex Minis, which I think is really neat. It's just a little uh, work work switch, you know, a work station switch, if you will. It's only got, you know, five ports. Uh, you can either uh, power it through uh, PoE or you can actually have has a USB-C connection on the back. Um, you can pick this up, for, I think, for about $30. I actually ordered it directly from uh, Unify. Uh, great little thing. I have nothing connected to this right now, so I'm actually going to go and upgrade this as well. So I've got two that are actually being upgraded right now. And as we can see down here, it says updating, updating as well. If we go into them, we can also see where they are. Um, updating. This one's writing. This one's downloading. Okay, the mini's already actually been uh, reconnected. Um, so it's all set to go. It's been updated. Uh, the other switch is still uh, going through the writing. My goal is to start creating more videos. Um, I've been in the field for over 25 plus years. So I've got a lot of different knowledge in a lot of different areas. And uh, I've been trying to set up a, a, a page for quite some time. And I finally sat down and said that I was going to do it. So I'm going to do it. So I'm going to start creating some videos. If you do have questions, please uh, reach out. Um, I can't give you always the exact answer, but I can try to do some research on what I do know on these different products that I'll be uh, mentioning in these videos, but I'll be going over basically my home lab, um, what I do, how I do things, uh, the steps that I go through for those, as well as, you know, setting up a, you know, pretend pseudo uh, company, if you will, to implement these things in from anything from monitoring to uh, setting up a virtual infrastructure, um, all different sorts of areas of IT itself. Um, as you can see right now, this is done, uh, it's in the provisioning part of that uh, phase of it. And this is the networking side. And I'll get into more details of the networking side um, throughout this. If you have areas that you would like me to cover, I can you know do my best to do that for you as well. Again, uh, just starting up this channel again. It's been probably a year since I've posted some stuff. Uh, so I've got some updates to the stuff that I did currently. 
Um, but I'll be trying to post more often, more frequently, and, you know, answering questions when they do arise. Okay, both of these have now been updated to the latest and greatest. So we can see the upstairs is done, the Flex Mini is done, as well as the upstairs access point. That's all I have to cover for now. The other systems would be very similar, or the other devices would be very similar to upgrade. Um, all you'd have to do is just go to the, that device itself, uh, click on it, and it will uh, go through the update process. If there's issues, it actually rolls back. Um, I've had no issues uh, upgrading, and I've had this equipment for over two years. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would, please like, subscribe, and I'll try to get some more video content out there. Thank you.